Hi everyone, this is your math guru. Today we're going to learn how to add and subtract thirds. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. When adding and subtracting thirds, we need to make sure that the number under the root or radical sign are the same. That is when we can add or subtract. That is, we need to make sure that the thirds are similar. For example, if I have 5 root 2 plus 3 root 2, the number under the sort or the radical sign are the same. I have root 2 on both sides. Thus, I can easily add. That will be 5 plus 3, that's 8 root 2. Likewise, if I have 7 root 5 minus 2 root 5, the first check is to make sure that the numbers under the root are the same. And if they are the same, I can go ahead. 7 minus 2, that's 5 root 5. Let's look at the following examples. In the first example, I have 3 root 5 plus 7 root 5 minus 2 root 5. My first check, because I'm adding and subtracting, is to make sure that my radicals are the same. I have all root 5. So therefore, 3 plus 7, that's 10 minus 2. My answer is going to be 8 root 5. On the other side, I have 8 root 3 minus 4 root 3 plus root 3. My first check, because I'm adding and subtracting, is to make sure that the numbers under my root are the same. Therefore, I have 8 minus 4, that's 4 plus 1. There's an invisible one here. 8 minus 4, that's 4 plus 1, that's 5 root 3. Let's look at more complex examples. In this example, I have square root of 24 plus square root of 63. On the other side, I have d, square root of 8 plus square root of 18 minus square root of 4. If you check the numbers under the root, they are the same, so we need to simplify first. Simplifying, we need to find two factors of the number under the root, whereby one of the factors is a perfect square. So for 24, I'm going to have 4 times 6 plus square root of 63, breaking that down, I have 9 times 6. Note that I'm not going to use 2 times 12 for 24 because 2 and 12, none of them are perfect squares. So I can only use 4 and 6 because I know that my 4 is a perfect square. And applying the rule of surge, I know that square root of A times B is the same as square root of A times square root of B. So breaking down my third question, I'm going to have square root of 4 times square root of 6 plus square root of 9 times square root of 6. Simplifying, square root of 4 is 2, root 6 remains the same, square root of 9 is 3, root 6 remains the same. Now that I have the same value under my root, I can simplify further, 2 plus 3 is 5 root 6. For my D question, I'm going to apply the same technique. I look for two factors that will give me the value under the root, and one of the factors must be a perfect square. For 8, I'm going to use 4 times 2. For 18, I'm going to use 9 times 2. And for 4, square root of 4 is 2. If I break that down, I have square root of 4 times square root of 2 plus square root of 9 times square root of 2 minus 2. Square root of 4, that's 2 root 2, plus square root of 9, that's 3 root 2 minus 2. I can see that the value under my roots are the same. So if I simplify, 2 plus 3, that's 5 root 2 minus 2. Let's look at two more examples. Like I did earlier, I'm going to simplify the value under my root. I have root 75 minus root 8 plus root 27. If I break down root 75, I'm going to use 25 times 2 minus, I have 4 times 2, plus for 27, I'm going to use 9 times 3. If I break that down, square root of 25, that's 5 root 2 minus no, 25 times 3, I'm going to correct that quickly, will give me 75, not times 2. Then I have square root of 4, that's 2 root 2, plus square root of 9, 3 root 3. If I check my answers, 
I have my root 3 for my 5 and root 3 for my 3. Root 2 is different. I have a different value, so they are not similar sorts. So I'm going to group my similar sorts. 5 times plus 3 will give me 8 root 3 minus 2 root 2. And in my last example, I have 3 root 16 plus root 50 minus root 8. I know that root 16 is 4, so this is going to be 3 times 4 plus I'm going to break down 50 to 25 times 2 minus I'm going to break down 8 to 4 times 2. 3 times 4, that's 12, plus square root of 25, that's 5, root 2 remain the same, minus square root of 4, 2 root 2. And if I simplify, I have the same value under my root, so I'm going to have 12 plus 5 minus 2, that's plus 3 root 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.